Hi, welcome to Lectus Training on the Sunday Readings. Today we'll prepare for the readings of May 1, the third Sunday of Easter. Our reference books. In the first reading, there is a sense of frustration at having to replay the arrest and interrogation of the apostles. The high priest is angry at the apostles' disobedience and at being implicated in Jesus' death. Peter's tone contrasts with the high priest's tone. He speaks with familiarity and conviction. The last sentence is spoken with the attitude of the rejoicing and suffering apostles say, Sanhedrin, Sanhedrin. First reading. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the captain and the court officers had brought the apostles in and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them. We gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name? Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus, though you had him killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things, as is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. The Sanhedrin ordered the apostles to stop speaking in the name of Jesus and dismissed them. So they left the presence of the Sanhedrin, rejoicing that they had been found worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of the name. The Word of the Lord I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will extol you, O Lord, for you drew me clear and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up from the netherworld. You preserved me from among those going down into the pit. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Sing praise to the Lord, you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name, for his anger lasts but a moment, a lifetime his goodwill. At nightfall, weeping enters in, but with the dawn, rejoicing. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Hear, O Lord, and have pity on me. O Lord, be my helper. You changed my mourning into dancing. O Lord, my God, forever will I give you thanks. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. The entire text of the second reading is spoken in the first person. This is a vision which means it must sound different from other readings. Your voice should reveal the impact that witnessing this overwhelming scene has on John. Children, rather creatures and elders are important symbols. Use all the six words 
to paint a portrait of the lamb. Each is a different quality. Don't rush, but let them sing a melody of praise. These words are four distinct words. See and hear them or hear these images before you describe them. Visualize the church falling down in fervent adoration. Second reading. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, looked and heard the voices of many angels who surrounded the throne and the living creatures and the elders. They were countless in number and they cried out in a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and blessing. Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea, everything in the universe cry out to the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and honor, glory and might forever and ever. The four living creatures answered, Amen. And the elders fell down and worshipped. The word of the Lord. And now, brothers and sisters, welcome to the second part of our training. Last week, I stressed the need to vary your tone to avoid monotony and make your proclamation alive and interesting. Sad naman po ako kasi yung lector last Sunday sa isang simbahan failed to use variety and change of tone. Lalo na po nang basahin niya at talaga namang nagbasa lang para sa kanyang sarili itong part na ito. Yan. Sobrang distracted lang po ako and sad kasi pantay-pantay nga yung basa niya. At pagdating dito, ay, ganito po ang basa niya. He touched me with his right hand and said, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last and the one who lives. Once I was dead, but now I am alive forever and ever. I hold the keys to death and the nether world. Write down, therefore, what you have seen, and what is happening, and what will happen afterwards. Pag nag-quote po kayo, pag-aralan nyo po, i-consider nyo sino ang nagsabi. Paano kaya niya sinabi ang mga words na yon? Ang nagsabi po ng words na yon ay si Jesus. Sa palagay nyo ba, ay ganoon ang pagkakasabi niya. Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last and the one who lives. Once I was dead, but now I am alive forever and ever. I hold the keys to death and the netherworld. Write down therefore, etc. Palagay niyo ba, gano'n ang pagkakasabi ni Jesus? Hindi man po natin ma-exacto kung papaano sinabi. Pero at least, we get close to it. At siyempre, iba doon sa boses natin as a narrator. Kung halimbawa po, mga boses ni Moses, ni Isaiah, eh kung ang binabasa niyo ay, Moses told the people, O, paano kaya magsalita si Moses? Paano kaya magsalita si Isaiah? At yung mga ibang prophets? So, kailangan pong pag-aralan yung, katulad ng sabi ko kanina, 
kung sino ang nagsabi, kahit kay babae, lalaki, bata, matanda. At sa palagay ninyo ay, paano kaya nila sinabi nung panahon na yon na nagsalita sila? Balikan po natin yung reading kanina. Yung, pag, yung variation po ng ating tono ay kailangan mag-umpisa dito. So, dito medyo blanco kahit walang feeling. Pero pagdating na ninyo dito sa text ay kailangan may pagbabago na meron ng expression, meron ng feeling. Okay? So, dito ang sabi, galit yung priest, yung high priest. So, kailangan ipakita nyo sa boses nyo na galit. So, hindi pwedeng, we gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name? Hindi pwede. So, kailangan ipakita natin na may galit yung boses. We gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name? But you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us, etc., etc., Ngayon, ito, narrator, boses ninyo yan. Dito, magbabago na naman kayo kasi boses naman ito ni uh, Peter. So, paano kaya niya sinabi yan? Pag-aralan niyo. Ang sabi ay, with familiarity and conviction. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus. Though you had him killed by Though you had him killed by hanging him on a tree. And so on. So, kailangan pag-aralan po yan. No? So, iba yung boses ninyo as a narrator. At kung sino man ang characters, pag-aralan nyo yung character na yon. Anong kanyang feeling, anong kanyang expression, at papano kaya niya sinabi yung mga word. Uh, dito nga po pala, pagka parehong S yung magkasunod, isahin nyo lang po ang tunog. The apostles, the apostle said, the apostle said. So, wag nyo nang sabihin, apostles said, apostles said. And so, parang isa lang yung uh, sound. At ito, hindi ko nilagyan ng slash kasi kailangan idiretso nyo doon. That they had been found worthy to suffer dishonor. So, diretso po. Ito naman, stop Stop speaking. Idugtong nyo po yon kasi pag hindi nyo idinugtong, baka malagyan nyo ng, tulad ng ginagawa ng iba, ng vowel sound dito, speaking. So, it is not speaking, it is speaking. Stop, stop speaking. Okay? Sa second reading naman po, o yan, ganun din. Iba yung boses, iba yung tono. Ito ay kay John's, uh, John's, John was speaking here. Pero, meron din na hindi siya ang nagsabi. At ang sabi ay, uh, they were countless in number. Meron pong mga words na that carry their meaning. So, hindi pwede lang sabihin countless. Countless in number. And they cried in a loud okay? so pwede naman pong hindi nyo laksan eh, pero yung intensity ng boses ninyo cried in a loud voice okay? so kaya lang ito mas lalakasan ninyo kesa dun sa inyong boses as a narrator okay? um, ito po nilagyan ko ng bilog kasi naalala nyo ang sabi ko pag vowel ang kasunod ng, ng the or the dapat ay ay the pero hindi we don't say the one kasi po ang sound ng o dito ay merong w so it's actually w and then the inverted v sound it's wo one the one kaya since w ang sound ito ay the at hindi the the one okay po all right Ngayon, upang magawa niyo po lahat ng dapat gawin, kailangan po talaga ay practice. Maraming beses po kung kailangan, maraming beses na practice hanggang sa ma-perfect ninyo.
Ito po ang sabi ni Monsignor Sarmiento. Good lectors read with faith and feelings, with skills and sincerity, with expression and good oral interpretation. Definitely, this is the product of some systematic and continuous recruiting, selecting, training, motivating, and careful monitoring. Ito po, lalo na ay para sa uh, head of the ministry or sa coordinator. Okay. Pero ito po para sa lahat. Dapat, huwag natin kalimutan, training good readers is not an option. It is a necessity, a serious responsibility. Okay. Ito nga po sana yung hinahanap ko sa ating yearly um, formation. Eh, wala naman pong ganito. Kaya I took it upon myself. I took the responsibility of uh, training. O, o magbigay ng ganitong training para makatulong. Okay. Uh, sana po... Uh, talagang makatulong ako take this, uh, grab this opportunity kasi wala namang kayong ibang mapagkukunan ng ganitong klaseng training so all you have to do is to watch listen and practice okay po okay so uh, thank you po sa inyong pagtsatsaga at uh, sana ay Makatulong pa ako sa mga darating na araw. Huwag niyo pong kalimutang subaybayan ang mga topics natin. So, join me again next uh, week for the readings of May 8, the fourth Sunday of Easter. Until then, goodbye and God bless you all again. Thank you po.